What's up guys, it's Punchy, and it's time to talk about Flame Wisp. A lot of people are saying it's a flat out nerf or a direct buff, but it's a bit more complex than that. So let's talk about it. Before this update, Flame Wisp was a passive healing tool that was applicable on basically every single build. Sure, it was more effective if you had more flame points, but at a base level, players were getting passive, free healing for just existing. Yeah, you could run this on every build, and if you skipped it, you'd be missing out on a ton of survivability. Now, it's no longer like this. As you can see, no matter how low I am, I will never passively heal from the Flame Wisp. So now, what's it do? When Flame Wisp is active, it will reduce the amount of burn damage you deal and turn that subtracted damage into healing for yourself. So, just to clarify, the damage you deal with your Flame Charm mantras is not being reduced, just the burn tick is. Right here, I'm healing while my flames burn my target, and this deactivates as soon as my flames die. So, the more aggressive you are as a Flame Charm user, the more health you regen during a fight. This even lets you reduce the damage of your own self-burn because it heals a portion of that damage right back. What's interesting about this type of rework is that it takes some of your damage from your burn and converts it into HP. The higher damage you deal with your flames, the more damage you heal back from your wisp. Instantly, this comes into effect and builds that have more flame investment will benefit greatly compared to those without that much. This change was made in order to incentivize aggressive play and sort of tell people to make a build with flame if they want to use flame wisp. Yes, you can still use it, but the more burn damage you deal, the more damage you heal. If we're talking about meta builds, if you aren't using flame charm at a high investment, you probably don't want to use this because you need to light players on fire and you need high burn damage. Eruption path functions in a similar way. The amount of damage your eruptions deal is reduced, but it provides the user more chunks of healing compared to a slower damage over time burn, and it's more consistent. What's cool about this is the synergy with weapons and enchants that each apply flame. Of course, the blazing enchant constantly burns players on hit and these flames will heal the user if flame wisp is active. It's very easy to trigger this burn and can be huge for healing, but I'd still say it's like an inconsistent version of vampirism. Sometimes you will be healing a lot if they stay on fire and sometimes you get very little if they roll. Now what's funny is the crypt blade with the twisted puppet's path. With this attunement option, all shadow damage inflicts black burning flames and yes, this will heal players players in the same exact way. So now, if you hit somebody with a crit blade, it still does everything else that it was doing before, but now those flames actually heal the user if they have a wisp active, so it's definitely something special. In short, flame wisp is good on builds that have flame mantras and flame investments, but I think it's fallen off a bit if you don't have those options. Of course, if it's too good or too bad, it can be changed, so tell me your thoughts down below. As always, make sure to like and subscribe, and let's hit 70k. Have a good one. It's it's punching time.